Hello my very most beautiful Taurus. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your June weekly reading. This is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do a personals open and everything that you'll need to know will be in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my very most beautiful Taurus, please may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Taurus energy, a very clear message with a very clear understanding. Ooh. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. Actually gonna move these over some create a little space there we go all right so we have the devil and the ten of wands at the bottom of the deck for your general overall energy so I do feel like you guys have been dealing with some difficult energies and it's it's really weighing on you we're gonna need to to look a little bit more into this you got the Queen and the King of Pentacles here for your thoughts so definitely a divine counterpart on your mind a very deep connection okay and i and i do feel like there's this devil energy could be very well representing the word i want to use is attachment maybe a little bit of codependency maybe a little bit of fear okay we have the page of cups and the hangman in the heart space so Seeing something in a new way, you still have a lot of emotion. I feel like there could be some emotions that you want to express to somebody here. And, and you could be gaining some new perspectives. This could be something that you guys um, have been doing a lot of deep reflecting on. A lot of Piscean energy. So some of you guys could be meeting, if this is something that resonates with you, you could be meeting your partner in a dreamscape. So if, especially if you guys are in separation, okay, you could be meeting this person in, in your dreams, okay, having conversations, connecting in that way. Um, I definitely feel like there's something that, there's some things that you want to say. There's some things that you want to express to this person, okay? Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Cups in the reverse for your true intention. I do feel like you do want an opportunity with this person, but you want it you want it you want it the right way okay you don't want just another opportunity if it's going to to go like it has okay you want to be able to work past the things you want to be able to create um you know this king and queen of pentacles energy that long-term stable committed type of an energy and i do feel like with the knight of cups in the reverse you could be questioning whether that's a dream or vision that you can make possible that's something that's possible at this time we have the world card in the reverse and the six of cups for your action. So really spending a lot of time, you know, even in your waking hours, thinking about this person. Okay, this person is really occupying your mind, your thoughts. The world in the reverse, feeling like things are still very open. And that really does fit with the page of cups energy with that having a lot you want to say, having things that you wish you could say, things that you want to express, um, conversations that you want to have feeling like things are still open, okay? You can probably still really feel their energy, okay? And then you guys are meeting on the dreamscape on top of it. So the Six of Cups, really spending a lot of time reminiscing, thinking about this person. So let's go ahead and take a look at what their energy is towards you. So being apart from this person, wow, the Ten of Wands just followed again. I was, I was about to say, because of the Ten of Wands over here, that, you know, the separation and the things that have been left unsaid um, you know, it's really weighing on you, uh, Ten of Wands, and then the Ten of Wands flew out again, so I do, I feel like, I feel like it is, it is really difficult, and the thing is, I have another deck here, and it's facing up, and it, the Ten of Wands is there too, so this is definitely really weighing on you, um, it's becoming very difficult to be away from this person. Yeah, we have the lovers that just fell out as well. So you have a very deep soul connection with this person. And there could be challenges, but the on the lovers, they're like reaching for each other. Uh, but they're not quite touching. So sometimes to me that can symbolize that there's some space, whether that's, you know, emotional space or physical space distance. 
I feel like there's a lot of space between the two of you and it's becoming very difficult for you guys to stay away from this person or for you guys to be apart from them, be separated from them. So, yeah, the lovers fell. The lovers here at the bottom of the deck for the general overall energy of the reading. Uh, so they're definitely that definitely that deep soul connection. This person feels it too. Now you guys have the oh my goodness, love the nails. The problem with them is I can't pick up these cards. So we have the two of cups and the three of cups here in the thoughts. So to me, the three of cups can be a reconciliation, you know, hanging out, spending time together, coming back together. And the two of cups, um, you know, their perfect match. They could also, sometimes the two of cups to me can be a card of, you know, having a very positive um, communication exchange. So this person could be really thinking about, you know, what? I really, I really would like to hang out with Taurus, spend time with Taurus. Let's just, let's get together. Let's just talk. Um, you know, I wish we can have a really positive conversation. I wish we can talk things out. You know, and the three of cups can be a card of reconciliation. Two of cups, the perfect match, a, a really beautiful mutual energy exchange. Now, the ace of wands. Ah, the ace of wands and the full card here in the heart space. So, yeah, wanting to spark things back up with that ace of wands, wanting a new start, a new beginning, okay? Wanting to take a chance and go for it, okay? Wanting to take a chance and have a new beginning to spark things back up, especially with that lover's card, you know, a very deep connection. So you have the three of cups, the two of cups, the lover, the ace of wands. That's some pretty beautiful energy here. We have the six of cups and the eight of swords in the reverse for their true intentions. So there you both have the, the six of cups. So really, really, you know, both of you really thinking about each other, thinking about your past, thinking about the memories that you guys share. The Eight of Swords in the reverse, that could have been a self-imposed person. So they could be want to release whatever fears and anxieties that they have that are keeping them from being able to communicate or from keeping them or keeping you guys apart is how I want to put it. Um, especially like maybe this is even wanting to release the things from the past that caused you guys to um, come apart in the first place. So really taking a deep look at the past and what has happened between the two of you. In their action, you know, some really clear messages today, guys, some really clear messages from Spirit. Their, their action is the Wheel of Fortune to me, which is definitely, it, it's not always an X coming back card, but it is definitely one of them, especially with the Six of Cups and stuff being here repeatedly as well. And the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. So that is wanting to come out of the cold, wanting to move back towards you. Like I said, very clear messages here. So you guys are, like, you're getting to this point where you just feel like you can't take it anymore and they're really heavily thinking about you which is probably triggering you to really heavy heavily think about them because you guys can you guys are connected you guys can feel each other energetically so you can feel each other tugging on the cord um so you think about them they think about you and it's just pulling on it and yeah, it's getting very difficult you're like i don't know how long much longer i can stand to be in separation from my person and they are over here ready to come back feeling this way thinking about you too so we're going to grab another deck we're going to take a look at what your biggest challenge is look at the bottom of this one too the ten of wands on one side and the five of pentacles in the reverse on the other that is crazy to me so we are going to grab this other deck here we're going to get these shuffled up and take a look at what your biggest challenge is going to be. We are going to look at what you don't see coming and then some advice for you guys. So what is the biggest challenge within this situation for Taurus? What is the biggest challenge within this situation for Taurus, please? We've got the Eight of Swords. So both of you, I feel like, needing to kind of get out of your own head. Okay, because I feel like it is creating more fears, more anxieties, and it's self-imposed, the thing, the thing is with that, the Knight of Swords. And having just having the conversation, you know, having the conversation, being able to communicate with one another. And the thing is that the Eight of Swords is also Jupiter and Gemini. Now, Jupiter is a card or is a planet of growth and blessings and expansion. And the you know, Gemini, 
you know, all about the communication and stuff. So to me, this is like saying that there's maybe, you know, needing to kind of look outside of the box. Okay, maybe there is more than one way to do something. So you guys could both be kind of stuck in this energy of only maybe seeing one solution or one option when I feel like there could be others. There could be like another way, another option, okay? I don't know. It's a weird energy that I'm feeling from that, but hopefully that helps somebody. So the Knight of Swords, you know, just being able to have the communication, push past the anxiety, the fear, to say what you guys need to say or for them to say what they need to say for you. So what doesn't Taurus see coming? The King of Pentacles. Wow. So something very long-term, stable, committed. And the Ten of Cups. You cannot make this up. This is stunning. So, you know, I feel like it's going to surprise you how serious this person comes in. Like this person is going to come in and, you know, this is very long-term, very stable, very committed potential. This person is coming in very seriously. Okay, the Ten of Cups. You know, that is a lot of happiness here. The Sun card just flew out on top of it as well. What advice do we have? You guys are going to be so happy. It's almost like you... You can't see it from where you are right now where it feels like you just can't handle this anymore. You can't possibly imagine how happy you're about to be. What advice do we have? I love this. The three of cups. Wow. The three of cups. So the advice, you know, there is a harvest, a celebration, a union. It's a really beautiful coming together. Enjoy it. The, wow. And the magician. So, you know, you've manifested this. So... And the chariot here as well. So a lot of forward movement. Things are about to start moving forward. I really love this. This is this is a really beautiful reading. All right, guys, this is what I have for you. If this resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is going to be in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, go ahead with a little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light until next time.